Hello everybody. Today we learned about Rube Goldberg and his very complicated and silly machines. He would take a very simple task, such as the one I'm about to show you, which is pouring cereal, and he would create a crazy invention to make it happen. When really the, the easiest way to do things like that is just to use our hands. So we are going to be creating our own Rube Goldberg invention drawings today. So my invention name is the Pouring 3000 and its purpose is to pour cereal. So this is how it works. You turn this little lever and a trap door opens and this bowling ball falls onto this seesaw and on the other side of the seesaw is a monkey and it catapults the monkey up and the monkey then grabs this banana. When he grabs the banana, it makes this pulley go, which then pulls this lever upward. When the lever goes up, the bookshelf tips and all the books go sideways and they hit this toy car that goes down the racetrack and then bumps into the cereal box, which pours the cereal. So this is a very silly machine, but it's very fun. So now I'm going to create another one. And for this one, it's gonna be for putting my shoes away. Now, when you're creating your inventions or drawing it, you wanna start in pencil. And you wanna to start towards the top corner of your paper so you have lots of room to get to, um, to, to draw all your different elements of it in there. And so this time I'm gonna start with a lever that you have to pull. Here's the hand pulling the lever. And I'm gonna write pull here because the more labeling you can do, the easier it is to read the diagram of your invention. So when you pull this lever, it is going to make this um, little platform that's on a spring go upward. So here's the spring. The platform was flat, but now it has turned this way. And on that platform was sitting a bucket of water. So then the bucket of water pours down and lands in a bigger bucket of water. And what happens is then the water level slowly rises, water rises up like that. And meanwhile, there is a, a little floating ball in here, okay? And as the water level rises, so does the ball. And then it becomes level with this platform and then it rolls across it. Well, then it hits this windmill thing that goes around like this. It's got these different paddles on it and it goes in a circle like this. And the ball lands in one of these little sections and it takes it up to the other side stays in that little section and goes doo, 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 doo. then it gets over here and it hits a little track that it goes down and then when get when it gets to the bottom is the ball rolling when it gets to the bottom it lands on a little button button And we have another one of these springs going on here. And this spring then shoots the shoe. Put one of my shoes here, it'll be one of my sneakers. Onto this shelf. So the whole point of my machine is for shoe organization. So it catapults the shoe into its place on the shelf. Wow, that was a long and drawn out machine just to put a shoe away. So you get the idea of what you're supposed to do. This is purely for fun and it, you can come up with whatever fun and crazy ideas you want because this is just a drawing. We don't actually have to make these machines. So you can use your imagination and anything is possible with your machine. When you're done drawing it out, you need to add some color to it. You don't have to color the whole paper, but just draw the different parts or color the different parts of your machine. Also, you wanna label it. You wanna give it a name. 
And then also you wanna put what its purpose is. So the purpose of mine is to organize shoes. And then I need to come up with a fun name for it. Maybe it's called the shoe, shoe orator. The shoe orator, and it organizes shoes. All right, well, come up with some fun ideas. The, the best way to start off is to think of a very simple task, such as pouring cereal putting shoes away, closing the window, putting on your hat. Simple things that you normally do with your hands, and that is what you will come up with for your project. Well, take your time, work hard, and have an incredible art class.